Hey, it is week 26 of our marathon training. Oh man, we're going to be, is yeah, this is it. So stick around. We have some updates about today's, actually this weekend's training. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Uh, we woke up this morning and it was 17 degrees. We're not. We're not. Used we're not to, built for that. Yeah, we, we don't. We don't even know. How I know to trust lots. For that. I, lots of people are dealing with much colder weather yeah, right now than a that. Lot people, a lot of people have it really bad off. And, yes, and, uh, and thank goodness we've kept power. I know yeah, it's yeah. like ever since the the great storm of 2021 yeah. that hit Texas so hard. Well, the first once in a lifer. Yeah, the first once in a lifer that was two years ago. Uh, now they're on the second once yeah. in a lifer. Yeah. Uh, we don't know how to run in that kind of weather, and and yeah. uh, we're not so sure it's a good idea to run in that kind of weather. However, tomorrow it'll be warmer, and we feel it's going to be warm enough yeah. to go for our six miler. So yeah. what we decided to do today is pure festivities, food, <laughs> food and, well, food and eating, because you got to eat what you cook. Yeah. Otherwise, how are you going to know how it came out? So it's Christmas Eve today. It is. You know what? Uh, we celebrate Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. But also... Happy winter solstice a few days ago, if you observe the uh, winter right, solstice. Or, uh, happy Hanukkah. <laughs> a meaningful Kwanzaa coming up Monday. In, in other words, uh, happy everything to everybody. Yeah. And, and we're hoping that uh, the coming year is great and better. So, uh, so we're celebrating today and we're making all of our uh, faves... Yeah. Uh, gingerbread cookies. We did gingerbread cookies. We have uh, Weihnachtsstollen uh, rising right now. Mm -hmm. We're about to make some uh, little Weihnachtsstollen. They end up being like biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, use cookie cutters good. and we make them small. Yeah. Little tiny loaves. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. We made we made biscochos a few days ago. Mm -hmm. We're making cherry mash candy. Yep. We're making fudge. Yep. We made tamales. We made tamales. So basically, we have uh, the uh, cultural. Our cultural we have Mex Mexico, Germany, Germany, and the American Midwest. Yeah, there you go. That 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 it's kind of uh, that's kind of us. Uh, if we were to uh, melt, <laughs> good food though. Yeah, yeah, really yeah, food. yeah. I'm actually getting hungry. We yeah. just ate. So, uh, so, so we're yeah, doing all we're, that. We're making stuff. Yeah, yeah. Anything. And and we'll yeah. run maybe tomorrow. two cookies off tomorrow. Not even one cookie? Like one cookie. Oh, man. Anyway, yeah. we're going to run our six miles tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, however, we do have an update on our outfits. Okay, so we're down to the wire. Uh, yes, we are. <clears throat> surprise, surprise. <laughs> we leave in two weeks, yeah. less than two weeks uh, for Marathon Weekend. Yep. The marathon is two weeks from tomorrow. Oof. So Ow. we still need to get outfits together and um, trial run them. Yours is fine. Yeah. So what we're doing is Tron, right? And we've we've kind of mentioned this, but I don't think we've really talked in depth about what we're gonna do. So we have a vinyl cutter and a heat press, and we're just gonna cut some vinyl, make it look kind of Tron as we're doing the, kind of the colors of the old Tron and the um, aesthetic. Yeah. The, like this is the design of the new one just because it's like bigger and chunkier and will be easier to pull off yeah. frankly yeah. um and might be more recognizable too so we're cutting some vinyl we're slapping it on a t-shirt and some shorts for david i prefer to run in like skirts um and i went through several rounds of trying to buy a skirt for this costume that i just i didn't like any of them hmm. um so what i'm doing okay so i took a t-shirt it's a size small. It's the exact same color as David, so we don't have to worry about like, trying to match colors. We bought the same shirt, yep. small. I bought another shirt, double XL, all right? So I'm gonna cut the small shirt in half and cut the big shirt in half. I'm gonna keep the top half of the small shirt and make the bottom half of the big shirt my uh, skirt. So I'm gonna sew them together. And it's gonna be my skirt. Once we get all that done, we're gonna slap some vinyl on it. Along the same lines as David's. I've only gotten as far as cutting them. 
Um, but I made some progress this week. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so this week, I cut a couple of shirts. Yeah. This week, sorry, this last week I cut a couple of shirts. This coming week, I will stitch them together and try to go running on our midweek run um, in it to see how it works. The tricky part, too, is that I wear uh, little water bottles that's, uh, they have little clap, like, uh, what do you call that? It, well, yeah, little clips. It's just like, yeah, like clips to my waistband. Yeah. So with a skirt, it's like, okay, it clips to the waistband of my skirt and my pants. But with a dress, I'm going to have to, when I stitch them together, leave like a little opening in the waistline for my bottles to fit in. I got to make sure I get the spacing of that right, the positioning of it right. Make sure it works. I don't know. This is all kind of theoretical and it's down to not a lot of time to be theoretical. So I'm going to try that this week. I'll report back next week. Yeah. Yeah, so... Because uh, we're out of time. Uh, we are definitely running out of time. I think this is the latest time. No, I think... No. The first year, right? Yeah. We... we Actually, we, we weren't going to do anything, and then we're like, hey, let's do something. So you really? like, did them in a week. Gosh, I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah. I must have blocked I, it. I didn't do anything. <laughs> so, uh, pretty cool update. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, uh, it, yeah. It's going to be great. And, you know, again, we're running something that, you know, I don't know, 99.9% .9 of the people aren't even going to recognize. But uh, if you see us, uh, we're kind of Tron-esque. <laughs> so that's, that's... We're also the... theoretically going to glow in the dark at night. Yeah, right. We so... haven't actually tested it. We need to test that vinyl to see if it actually glows in the dark. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be glow in the dark. Yeah. So during the first, like, you know, very dark stretches of the race. Yeah, we'll be glowing. We'll be visible, hopefully. Yeah. And if we're not, come and shine the light from one of your uh, phones on us to give us some... We think uh, it might be. Yeah, charge it up for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, get charge us up so we can, uh, so we can finish the marathon. <laughs> Isn't there a Tron thing, like, with the, the yeah, water yeah, that's in the, the second yeah, one? Yeah. No, oh. that's in the first one. Is it in the first yeah, one? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, Ram, Tron, and uh, Flynn. They were, like, drinking the water with their discs. Oh, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See? Nerd cred. There we go. Yeah. We love that movie. <laughs> um, so that's that update. Uh, and that's pretty much where we are. We, over the last week and a half, have gotten back on track with yes. our stickers. So yeah. we've kept up with our running. Mm -hmm. Our other things every week that we wanted to do have kind of dropped off a little bit. Yeah. Again, that's a core uh, physical therapy physical exercises, therapy and some like miscellaneous. Like, other. You know, every now and then we category. throw in a Pilates or, you know, uh, uh, weight training. It has uh, been several weeks since we've... Yeah. I'll say since we got two weeks in a row of yeah, all of our stickers. Yeah. I think we had like one straggler week yeah. over the last like 10 yeah. where we got yeah. all of them. But yeah. last week we did all of them. This yeah. week we're doing all of them. Yeah. So we're back on track. The next two weeks we're going to try to do all of them just to like to uh, do some like to, last minute cramming to, on uh, toning and to stuff. To de-Christmas our bodies. Yeah. That yeah. Too. Uh, but yeah, so so that's pretty cool. You know, here's a, here's a, a quick shot of our... Uh, our sticker chart look at how it's all filling up mm -hmm. we are leaving uh like you said in 14 days 12 12 days yeah some oh. of you will be there before we get there and mm -hmm. some of you will be enjoying the uh, uh excitement before we get to but we'll see each other all of us there are gonna be thousands of us uh, all corralled up for the marathon this i mean we're like totally psyched this is awesome um so we'll have uh a Final update next week. Next yeah. week is our last run before the marathon. So we'll, we'll definitely have a, a final update on our <laughs> outfits. Uh, yeah. We will also have an um, medium in-depth analysis of uh, in-park bathrooms. So here's something I've realized. This, this, so, this the, became very important for us. So here's the deal. And it finally, it, it really was driven home for me on this last marathon, how important it is to do this research beforehand. So we know, right, that the bathrooms in the parks are open yep. and available for use during the run. Yep. So even before the park opens, like say that first pass through Epcot, it's like five in the morning, 5.30 mm -hmm. in the morning, those bathrooms are open. So, you know, you can use those instead of using porta potties if you can wait that long or if you whatever you can use those bathrooms yep. so it's a real treat they're large they have running water you can wash your hands yep. you know it's great oh uh you know uh just a word to the wise uh if you go through security and then you really need to use one of the open bathrooms around epcot uh sometimes those bathrooms are outside of the security that you just went through so last time we used those bathrooms and then we had to go back through mm -hmm. security mm -hmm. even though we 
it's so you know be mindful of of the security and stuff because the volunteers out there everybody doing that work man they are out there for hours they do a fantastic job uh, and it got a little weird because people were like i just went through security i'm just using the bathroom but anyway you know just th that was that was a little odd because i mean i'm half asleep and i'm like i don't know what i'm doing anyway sure. um so there are some bathrooms that are better than others yes. and it, like it's worth your time to look at the map and mm -hmm. figure out which ones those are. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that. A, to help us out, yeah. but B, to help all of you. Yeah. If you're into this sort of like thing, because I have, again, I've made some poor decisions on which, bath which bathrooms to choose. Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to talk about that next week too. And if you're open to horror stories, we'd be more than happy to share porta potty stories with you. Uh, in Luckily, person. that has never that has never happened yeah, at a Run Disney. Yeah, not at a Run Disney anymore. Yeah. Other races have been pretty rough. Yeah. So you know they they released the the route for this year's marathon, and it's different from uh, last time. So you know we're gonna again we're going to do the research and then plan. share with you what <laughs> we think might be the best bathroom stops for you. Uh, definitely uh, will be. For uh, us. Yeah. The, the, they will be for us. Yeah. So uh, that's what's going on. Uh, we are totally like in disbelief, seriously, that we're leaving in 12 days. Yeah. That one more, well, we're going to run tomorrow and then next week's run and then it's marathon time. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know if it's just because this race falls right after like the holiday season, but and am I just getting old or is it like post COVID times or? Something about this holiday season, it just went by in a flash. Yeah. Which means we're suddenly at marathon weekend, and I don't really understand how yeah. we got here so fast. Yeah. But here we are. We're old. Time moves fast. And if you have any, if you're running, if you're going to be at the marathon weekend, if you're running, or if you're going to be a spectator, or you're just going to the parks, uh, maybe you can include in your New Year wishes that this year be a slightly cooler just like a little weekend. Bit. Not like this weekend. No, not like this weekend. But, but like, just like a little bit yeah, cooler. Just a little, it, it, it'd it's be, been it'd warm. Be nice, it's yeah. been really warm. It, it's been pretty hot. <laughs> but you know, regardless, <laughs> it is always an adventure with you. We would like to thank all of our subscribers for watching. Thank you so much for uh, joining in. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you like this video, let us know because we love making them. We will see you in a week. Two weeks? Well, we'll see you potentially in person in yeah, two yeah, weeks. Yeah, we'll see you in person in two weeks, but we'll see you for one more pre-marathon video next week. Uh, we do our best to upload every week. We're doing all right. <laughs> see ya.